Hello everyone, uh, after a while I'm going to show you one of the services uh, inside uh, Power Apps, inside AI Builder uh, that actually help you to do the text translation. So we are going to see that how it works. So if you go into your uh, Power Apps and inside the AI Builder under the model, you will see a component name text translation. So I click on that. As you can see here, it's going to translate a text into the other language. Uh, there are some best practice, actually one best practice, that use text ent entries that have full sentence. So, for example, uh, just saying hello or just a small word shouldn't be that. Uh, actually, it should be a full sentence. So, don't use the text entries that have a lot of sentence fragments or one word sentence so that's a kind of the rule we should to kind of apply about that about the text i'm going to show you uh, in this video a very simple one then in another one i'm going to show you one of the use case of this uh, translation uh, later so this one is just a simple demo about how we can use it so as you can see here we have we can use it for now just in microsoft flow so i click on using a flow so this is a kind of the pre-built uh, one that is actually manually get the text and then provide a notification i'm going to create my own uh, just uh, actually make sure that you are access to the uh, data uh, the common data services because that's the uh, one that actually AI builder works on that and you should be in the same kind of tenant if you want to use it so I'm going to create a flow so I'm going to create a, a new flow here uh, at the top so a flow on the instance one just skip that to come here so same as the other simple example i'm going to get the data from onedrive onedrive for business and i want that this one for this example when a file is created uh, just make sure i'm using the my uh, kind of company account for that because it's for business so make sure you connection to the proper one if it's wrong one you can add a new connection so here i need to show the place that i put my text so here uh, under the root there is a data set name there's a data set folder so this is the place i'm going to actually uh, to kind of get the data in the next step i'm going to search for the action i'm going to use the ai builder and i'm going to translate so translate text to another language so the translate the uh, text that i'm sending to this series comes from the file content so it's a dynamic content here file content and the language that i want to show uh, i want to show it in English. So this is just setting up. Uh, there are some advanced option uh, detect automatically, or if you know the uh, language, you can specify that. So I'm saying detect automatically. In the next step, again, because it's a, just a simple demo, I'm going to write it back to the OneDrive. OneDrive for business. And I'm going to create a file so the file path is again on data set the file name i put it as a translated.txt so that's a file name and the file content again you can see that on the dynamic content from uh, translated text so you can also add the language name but actually you can have it uh so this is a simple one i'm going to save it for now uh check the flow check to see the structure and the connection works well yes everything works good so now i'm going to add a text so i have a text i uh, 
my second actually my first language is farsi so i write a sentence in farsi so if you want to know that uh, so i will show it later on in the translation application so this is a text that i have i'm going to upload so just a one sentence i'm going to upload it to the uh, actually one drive so i'm going to open my one drive so this is my OneDrive dataset one. I'm going to upload it. But before I upload it, I need to run the flow. So I'm going to, that's a flow. I'm going to test it. So for the test suite is ask me about perform it myself. That means that in this scenario, I'm going to upload a new file into the OneDrive. So I'm going to say, yep, test. And I'm going to upload the file here. So it's going to upload the file over here and back to the flow. So as you see, it's able kind of all of the process happen is no error, which is really exciting. And you can see that the new file has been created. That's a file is text format. And if I open it, it's mentioned Oakland is beautiful so this is actually this uh, uh, translation of that sentence into english and if i actually use it you see that's a microsoft bank i that's a detected is a prussian and you see that is actually is provide the language here so this is can be really useful when you are actually uh, so this is a, just an example that uh, for uh, from OneDrive and then created OneDrive. You can imagine other scenarios we can have. It can be a trigger, it can be email, or can be any data set that you have the language and you want to translate it automatically. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. In the next video, I will show some more advance about the usage of this service into other application. Thanks so much for watching this video.